when you understand the concept of extreme ownership and how it applies to safety and risk mitigation, that you can't blame it on anybody else or anything else. You have to own everything in your world uh, and make sure that you and everybody around you is operating in, in the safest manner possible. You're gonna be able to lead your team to success. When you understand the laws of combat, cover and move, simple, prioritize and execute, decentralized command, and how those relate to safety. Cover and move is about the team. When, when you do something that's unsafe, you do something that injures you or someone, or someone else around you, it doesn't affect just you, it affects the entire team and the entire mission. You gotta keep things simple. It's really easy to get super complex when you're talking about a safety and risk mitigation program, but people have to understand how to mitigate the risk, how to keep things safe, and how to follow those proper procedures so that they can actually go out and execute. You have to prioritize and execute. Safety is the highest priority. And we hear companies preach this all the time, and yet sometimes down on the front lines where they're actually executing the work, it's easy to lose focus on that highest priority and maybe shift to something else. So you can't do that. Keep focus on that highest priority of safety. And finally, decentralized command. Decentralized command means that everyone leads. And when it comes to safety, everyone should lead. You have to step up and lead and take ownership at whatever level you are in the organization so that you can keep things safe, make sure that those around you are operating in the safest possible manner. And that is gonna set your team up for success so that you can safely and effectively accomplish your mission.